We've been speaking to many Canadian companies who have actually purchased mask making equipment um, and it's going to be installed in Canada but they can't find the feedstock or the material to convert into masks. Primarily that's made overseas, a lot of it is still made in China. Some is made in the US but all the supply, existing supply is spoken for by the larger producers uh, of masks and it's not, not really available to the new entrants that want to basically make masks in Canada. And one of the other challenges is actually more on the sustainability side is that this is all synthetic material. So it primarily is polypropylene which is not biodegradable. So when these masks at the end of their life go into a landfill, they're going to be in a landfill for a long time. So it's very easy to get good air permeability and it's very easy to get good filtration efficiency. Uh, so the amount of particles of a given size that are captured by the filtration media. Getting those in one unit is challenging. Um, so you want good breathability, so air, you want air to flow freely through the mask. We also want the particles in that air to be captured by the filtration media. Uh, and like I said, that combination is very challenging. So what we're doing right now um, in our studies, we're looking at different fiber sizes and different fiber types that are already made in Canada. Uh, so we have some species here in BC, uh, for example, Douglas fir, which is very coarse. We have several types of hardwood that are produced uh, all across Canada. We're looking at those uh, conventional fibers and also our novel nanofiber and the combination of these three materials to basically get that perfect uh, pore size so that we can capture the particle sizes that we want while still having good permeability. Well I think what the government realized uh, through this crisis in particular is for the personal protective equipment, first of all we had no in-house capacity, in Canada capacity to produce the material. In fact we didn't even have testing equipment so the material that was coming in uh, we didn't have certified testing labs to even verify that the, the PPE that we were purchasing from overseas was, was effective and working. We actually had to send that to, to the US labs uh, for certification and testing. So since this has occurred, since the pandemic, we've actually, uh, the government is supporting Canadian innovation, it's important to do that, uh, by supporting companies like us to develop made in Canada solutions. Uh, so that we have in, in, within our borders, supply of not only the fibers that we're looking at, but methods to convert those fibers into the PPE, and also to test the PPE to make sure that it's effective. By possibly this time next year, we'll have in-house in Canada capacity from uh, forest, from the fiber, all the way to finished masks.